Okay, what this handout does is it looks at a problem, then it evaluates um, how a market economy would solve the problem, then how a command economy would solve the problem, and then what it discusses is the opportunity cost of making those particular decisions. So when you read this, it says an island economy that is struck by an epidemic disease that affects only children. Um, past experiences, the islanders have found that disease strikes randomly and it affects 80% of the children. They also discovered a antidote that reduces the chance of death if, if they take it before the, excuse me, the disease strikes. So a child who hasn't taken any dose of the antidote has a 90% chance of dying if he, gets, he or she gets the disease. If they take one dose, the chance goes from 90% down to 10%. And then if you take an additional dose down to 8%, an additional dose down to 6 then um, additional one... 5% uh, and then beyond four doses, it doesn't really have any effect on that child. The other thing that this evaluates is um, uh, marginal utility. You know, uh, when you increase the number of doses, how much um, do you see a decrease in um, your chances of death? Um, so what we're going to look here is um, that we have a thousand children and we also have a thousand doses of the antidote, so we must use it immediately. So the first question is, is what would a market solution to this problem be? And remember, in a market solution or in a market economy, individuals get to decide what is going to be produced, how it's going to be produced, and then how are we going to distribute it. And in a market economy, it's who values it the most, and that's, you know, we vote on how we value something by the amount of money that we're willing to pay for this. So they're going to put a price tag on this and they're probably going to charge a very high price because most people want to have um, the opportunity um, to make a lot of money and we know that people are probably willing to spend a lot of money to save their kids lives. Um, it's unfortunate but that's one of the, the downfalls I guess or the uh, one of the things that you see in a market economy is that people um, know what the value of things are and then they're going to charge you accordingly. So the market solution would be just to put a price tag on it and those who are willing and able to purchase it would do so. Um, I'm kind of going to skip A. Um, I want to go on to B. What would be the opportunity cost of this solution? And an opportunity cost, remember, is what we give up. So if we go with a market solution and put a price tag on it, we know that there are going to be people out there who have a lot of money who are able to buy multiple doses. So those people with a lot of money are going to make sure that their child gets um, as many doses as they can to reduce their chances as much as possible. Since we have a thousand kids and a thousand doses, if one family is taking three or four doses um, and they have multiple kids, we know that there are going to be some kids that aren't going to get a dose at all and end up with a 90% chance of dying. Um, so with the market solution where you put a price tag on it, the opportunity cost is that um, the ability to make sure that every child gets one dose. <clears throat> so we are going to have some kids who are going to die in this situation. Command economy, on the other hand, is, going, is the government stepping in and making that decision for us. And basically what they're going to say is, um, and looking at the um, um, equity of it or the equality of it, making sure everyone shares equally. So the government is going to say that every child will get one dose, so that every child in our um, country will go from 90% down to 10%. Um, what would be the benefits of this command solution is that, once again, we're going to reduce the chances of every child from 90% um, down to 10%. One of the things that we do see when the government steps in and starts to ration things like that is an establishment of a black market. And so, unfortunately, um, what you will probably see is some of these families um, selling um, their doses um, for very, very high prices. So we're taking something that the government is trying to make command and actually will create an underground market or a black market for this particular, um, this particular product. If we go with a command solution, what is the opportunity cost? Once again, what opportunity do we give up when we go with this solution? And it would be the opportunity for people who want to purchase additional doses of um, this antidote from being able to do so.